You know, I think there's a there's an opportunity to definitely look at the positives within the game, and that's you know we started bright, we created great opportunities in the first half. I think um, you know we, we we find ways to break them down in the first half, and but we, unfortunately we didn't take advantage of that. So that's something again we control. Um, you know, so that, that, there's good things within that that we want to focus on. We we cannot ignore the fact that defensively we were very susceptible in the second half. Um, and that's not acceptable, and that's by the player standards, and they know that, and that's the great thing about it is they know what they ex what is expected of themselves, and they hold themselves to a very high standard. So we'll, we'll sit down, we'll look at it, we'll fix it, and uh, we'll move forward. Um, I think some of the positives were that we did get in behind their back line quite a few times. Um, like I personally have to do better at finishing, and I think as a team we have to do better finishing those opportunities, especially in the first half, because if we could have gone up 2 or 3 nothing, we probably would have won the game. So... I think we just have to be a little bit more creative with our runs because when we were, we did get opportunities. When you're missing some key players, whether well, that's you know Kelly or Sam because of um, the tournament or it's Mandy, Aaron, Leah because of injury, there is a fantastic opportunity for players to step in and, and really um, earn, their, earn their stripes in there. I thought you know Mackenzie and Maya did well up there together um, and I thought Domi came in and you know she conducted herself well at different periods of the game and it's a big ask for Nikki Stanton as well to go in there and I thought she looked well defensively as well. So you know there's, there's challenges that we face. The, these group of players embrace these challenges, uh, whether it's playing out of position, whether it's coming in for your first start, or whether it's, it's playing through injury. We're very fortunate these players embrace them. So now that we have the players bought in and, and committed to what we want to do, the, the opportunity is now for us to grow and improve from each, um, each result that happens. I think we just got a little bit too comfortable and we thought, you know, if we miss this opportunity, the next one will come. But in the second half, it was a totally different game and we just never really found our rhythm and we were a little bit too disconnected all across the field. So, again, it's not acceptable and we have to learn from that moving forward. The one lesson we can learn from tonight is that we must score more goals than the other team. Um, and, to, and to be able to do that, it's, you know, it's just trust ourselves. Trust ourselves in the game and trust ourselves in the process. I think we looked a little bit nervous at times and you know, almost scared of making a mistake. We're in a fantastic place. We, we, they've done well. You know, this is a blip. This is not a good performance at all. We're not going to sugarcoat it. But on the grand scheme of things, it's part of a process that we know is about learning. So, you know, the word consistency is something we've, we've harped on about all season long. So to back that up, I'd say the word discipline. We just continue to add discipline on the ball and off the ball. And, you know, we'll, we'll feel good about where the season can go. I think it's what we've been talking about all season, which is our consistency. Um, obviously, we're missing Kelly and Sam, but it shouldn't matter because we have a great team. And whatever 11 players we put on the field, we should be able to perform. So I think just trusting each other and working for each other on and off the ball.